How to truck driver 101.com is gonna be a breakup in this video. I had to pause it. So anyway, let's move on to Jeff Dunham's book. Jeff Dunham's book is all by my sleeves. It's got all the gang there. Uh, you know Jeff Dunham, he's a ventriloquist and he has a pretty interesting life story. I think the fart the part <laughs> the fart the part that I was really amazed by in this book was I didn't realize Jeff Dunham was that old. I didn't realize he's like 50. <laughs> I thought Jeff Dunham was like my age. Um, Jeff, it, it covers Jeff's life. He's kind of a quirky kid. He was adopted. Um, it talks about, you know, uh, doing comedy. I think the part, that the highlight in that book, when it goes through his childhood, is like how quirky he was. Like he was just like constantly practicing uh doing ventri ventriloquist, constantly practicing being a ventriloquist and uh, it just he just continued to work it until one day he made it I mean he's been doing that since like he was I think it says in the book he's, since he was 10 and he just continues to do it you know 50 years I mean that's that's like a extreme focus <laughs> you know to go from your teens all the way into your 50s still doing the same thing uh, it's got all the gang in it, you know, lots of funny jokes from Peanut and the old guy and Ahmed, you know, I kill you, you know, uh, <laughs> and I thought it was a great book, it was a great read, the, the funny parts in the book are great, um, I think the, one of the things I loved was when he talked about comedy, it kind of takes you really in depth about comedy, it has the NFL in it, he talks about when he was supposed to replace, um, uh, Jimmy Kimmel uh, on um, the NFL Sunday show. It comes on CBS. I can't remember the name. Fox. It comes on Fox. And he was supposed to replace him and they basically pushed him basically out the door. Um, and it was just these awkward scenes where they wouldn't let him get a joke off. They wouldn't let him get uh, any of his comedy off. And I mean, he's a guy who's just, I mean, he's been kicked and kicked and kicked and kicked. And this guy has been through a lot. But at the same time, he's won a lot. Sadly, his marriage ended in divorce, which you can kind of see coming when, you know, he meets her and a few, I think it wasn't even like, I mean, a couple of years later, he was married and he had like her whole family living with him when you're like, gee, that's not going very well. <laughs> and then it kind of ends up in the middle where he's kind of got this semi-career going, but he can't really figure out the next thing. And this is the part I didn't know. I didn't know he paid uh, to do all of those specials that come on Comedy Central. Uh, turns out Comedy Central does not, uh, I guess they didn't like him. They didn't believe in him. And turns out he paid for the special. And they even after he paid for it, he still had to basically beg him to get it on. And he ended up becoming the highest rated uh, comedy special they've ever had on Comedy Central. Um, which I think is just insane. It's always weird how something that works, something that you can see working, like you saw Peanut, you've seen Ahmed, I mean, you've everybody's seen this. And, how, and it's funny, but they sit there and go, you know, yeah, I don't know a ventriloquist. You know, it's like, why wouldn't you want that? Like, why wouldn't you want him to, you know, to see if it'll work? It's like, they don't take risks. Uh, and then they wonder why we all go to the internet and watch YouTube. You know, but um, but anyway, Comedy Central does end up uh, supporting him, and I mean, he just rockets and take off. And that, to me, that's the best part of the book because you feel by that point you, he's been kicked so hard by so many people, you feel really bad for him. I will tell you this though, he takes you right into the world of comedy. I mean, it it's honest and and truthful. He doesn't go too much into his breakup, obviously, but. It really is that kind of uh, uh, raw entry into the world of comedy. I mean, he goes through one part where the guy is telling him he has 300 seats and the guy has 500 seats. And he literally, the guy stuck to his lie so bad, he had to literally have the audience, he waited to, until that night when he performed, and then he had the audience count off one by one by one and to show that the guy, the club owner, owed him for five fulfilling 500 seats I mean that's a lot of money when you think about it. he's probably getting I don't know his ticket prices maybe 50 bucks times 500 that's a that's a nice sack of change for one night right so I mean 
at the end of the day, it's just it's it's an in-depth book in the comedy. Um, he doesn't dwell too much on his personal life, which is good because I don't really care about people's breakups. It's just I'm not one of those people. I don't really you know live to go. Oh, he broke up. Oh, I want to hear about all that. You know what I mean? Like keep your personal business. Take me through the adventure. You know the fun part of what you do. Um, so Jeff Dunham's book, all about my all about my sleeves, I believe is what it's called. Uh, I never get the second part right because I never pay attention to it. All I saw was Jeff Dunham had a book, and I'm like, the ventriloquist? <laughs>